All right. Um, <laughs> so Kentucky Flyer was just announced for Kentucky Kingdom, and I'm going to analyze the announcement video. And if you can't tell, um, I guess I should maybe take a little more time to digest this before making a video, but I just had to come in and make a video. This is one of the most hilarious announcements I think I've seen in quite some time. Um, in fact, I think this is going to be memed all night and all tomorrow and all week. Um, again, I do want to remind everyone, it is a smaller park, so sometimes we put a little too much expectations on the smaller parks for what they're going to get. But um, I will say a couple things. I do want to say that they didn't overhype this. So a lot of the times we jump to the conclusion that a park overhyped something um, and we get underwhelmed. I will say that this park didn't overhype this attraction whatsoever. In fact, I think they only did two or three teasers and a couple of teasers online. And that's totally fine for what looks like a kitty family wooden coaster. I'm going to say family wooden coaster, even though it's really small. Uh, it still looks like it's got some awesome airtime moments. So 12 airtime elements. Um, it's going to have Timberliner trains. And, um, yeah, there's a couple of things that I want to talk, <laughs> discuss about um, the name and the logo and the, the ride itself. Um, so here's that overview shot of the ride with an airplane flying by. Um, don't ask me why there's an airplane. I'll get to that in just a bit. Um, it, <laughs> it, <laughs> the trains look... Like, they may only have, like, two trains on it. Um, so, again, it is a smaller park. I'm trying really hard to not fall apart in my judgment on the ride. Uh, because for K Kentucky Kingdom, maybe this is a great attraction. And a part of me is hoping that this is, like, some sort of, like, curveball. And, like, at 9 p.m., because this video was dropped early. It was dropped at, like, 8.30, and it wasn't supposed to be dropped till 9. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, um, by the time this video posts, it'll be 9 p.m. So if you see me upload another video, then this was just a joke. Um, let's hope this is a joke. So a couple things I want to go over is why the airplanes? I, I really don't get the airplanes for a wooden coaster. Um, Kentucky Flyer. So the Flyer name does match. So, you know, the whole flying timber liners and all that. That makes sense. The airplane theme, you know, the teasers, they really didn't match um, the coaster. I will say that. I am happy they went with Gravity Group. I would really like to see um, another family Gravity Group coaster. They look really awesome especially since they're family coasters. I've heard really good things about them. So I do want to stress um, that I think we're a little underwhelmed right now for a couple of reasons. I think we're underwhelmed because, A, they used Planet Coaster. Um, and whoever built it on Planet Coaster um, probably has the same skill set as me playing Planet Coaster. And for those of you that have been along on our channel's journey, know that I'm not very good at Planet Coaster. Uh, the running joke is I build triangles for Airtime Hills. So <laughs> um, I think whoever built this coaster and Planet Coaster probably has the same skill level as me, it looks like. Uh, it looks like they didn't use the smoothing tool. Um, and uh, a part of me is wondering, why don't more theme park um, companies and chains reach out to really professional No Limits? So, like even using the coaster community, No Limits Builders, there's a very large group of uh, No Limit Builders in the coaster community that are extremely talented. Um, if you're watching this video, I, you know who you are. Even reaching out to one of them and uh, getting them involved in some way, get them to sign a non-disclosure agreement and build your um, your whole animations and all that for your your coaster announcements. If you can't afford, like you know what Cedar Fair and Six Flags do for their coasters, there, there's other ways to go about it. You could even do it for free. Um, just offer them something or you know promote them when you release the animation in the description box. Um, th that's just a bit of a suggestion because. Uh, I have a feeling this animation is to blame for being slightly underwhelmed because, again, I do know Gravity Group family coasters are awesome. I've heard really great things about them, just especially from Sesame Place. So, yeah, again, my my biggest problems are the animation. Um, the logo's very tacky. I do not like the logo for this coaster. I didn't like it when they used, used it in the teaser. I did know that it was a coaster coming to Kentucky Kingdom based off of the name. Kentucky Flyer was such a coaster name. I will say a lot of people were so against uh, Firehawk coming to the park, and a part of me is like, what would be better, Firehawk or Kentucky Flyer? Um, so I guess that's where I want to hear from you guys down below. What would you have preferred? Would you have preferred Firehawk from Kings Island coming to Kentucky Kingdom? Or are you okay with uh, Kentucky Flyer being a family gravity group? Comment down below what you think. Um, and yeah, not much else to say about the ride. The ride, again, I'm I'm not going to say anything because it wasn't overhyped. I do want to stress that again. It was not overhyped. Um, 
And it looks like a great coaster. I just, maybe a, a different theme would have done better. I really don't get the theme of the coaster. I, uh, airplanes and a wooden coaster to me uh, just doesn't sit with me. Uh, I don't know about you guys what you think about that. Comment down below what you think about this whole coaster announcement and Kentucky Kingdom. Hopefully you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video for others to enjoy. And as usual, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.